Hi everyone, I'm Scott from Sharky's Greenhouses and Beat Your Neighbor Fertilizer. And today the topic is soil. So there's been some changes that, that have been coming along and they've been coming along for many, many years. And this is gonna be a little more of a techie talk, but I don't want you to just gloss over this because it will affect you. And those are big changes because we're talking about the composition of that soil. So for many, many years, uh, we've used peat moss as, as one of the main components of soil. And peat moss comes mostly out of Canada. There's great big millions of acres of these peat bogs that they harvest. And it's kind of a cool process if you've ever seen how they do it. They have great big machinery. They're basically gigantic vacuum cleaners that suck up the peat moss. And then they import it into our country and that peat moss is used in our soil. Well, those peat bogs, uh, they're a non-renewable resource. And so there's, you know, there's a lot of politics behind it and, you know, yada, yada. But the fact is, is they've been looking for some sort of replacement for peat moss. Um, material, it's an organic broken down material and it, it holds moisture very well. But again, with the, the depleting of those peat bogs, they've had to kind of change. So a term that you're gonna hear a lot of is hydrofiber. And hydrofiber is a brand name. So when I say hydrofiber, I'm just kind of talking about the, the whole picture of it and the product. Hydrofiber is a, it's a wood-based product. So it's southern yellow pine and they shred it up. So you can see the difference between the peat moss. It's really light and airy and the hydrofiber is much more dense and is darker and it's a little thicker uh, it's a little more strand strand like but it's it's there's a definite difference and uh, you can really really tell how it holds that water that hydrofiber really holds the water we use mostly jolly gardener in our greenhouses and you i was like time out i don't want to change I'm like well too bad the change is coming so i have had to be very vigilant. So if you hear nothing else of what I say, I want you to take this word and go with it. Vigilant. You're, you're going to need to be vigilant when you're watering your hanging baskets and your containers. And that's a good thing, all right? It's always good to be vigilant of watering because watering is one of those things that, that um, many people get wrong. So it's good to go into this year with vigilance. And you know what? This hydrofiber really, really holds the water. So the hydrofiber can hold seven times as much water as the peat moss. So that's going to help some people and it's going to hurt other people. So if you typically overwater, it's going to hurt you. So you're going to have to be very vigilant on your watering. You're going to have to check those hanging baskets, those containers. And you know, I went through and I watered two days ago. This hanging basket is heavy. So it, that hydrofiber is really holding in that water content but it does give it back readily. So it's, it's a light, airy, um, mass of, of you know wood product but it really holds that water and it's it's really good for the roots i've been very happy with how you know the all the greenhouse uh plants and flowers are growing so, you know we're, we're early season and things are really clipping along well so I, I was i was very very concerned but i'm really happy with how things are growing so look at the root masses on this so so this soil has the hydrofiber in it and this is a verbena is the plant. Look at the, the roots are loving this because that hydrofiber, it can grow right through. The roots can grow right through and it can absorb that water and therefore it can absorb nutrients or you know, when we fertilize with the Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer, it's grabbing, those roots are grabbing that. You know, so the delivery system with the soil is great. It's just that it's, it really holds that moisture. And when you look at when you look at it, it's darker and it's darker because it's holding that water in. You know, these are begonias. The, you know, it's dark. It's dark because it's wet. So I have to be vigilant as a greenhouse grower. Therefore, you're going to have to be vigilant too eh, with how you're watering. Now, do I know what, you know, have a have this knowledge of what soils all have hydrofiber in it no i do not so you know if you're emailing me or messaging me like hey does my soil have hydrofiber in it the answer is i don't know you're gonna have to check you might have to read up on it i know that the the jolly gardener is one of the soils that we use a lot in our greenhouse that has a hydrofiber in it now sun grow sun grow is uh 
uh, we also use sun grow soils. It's, it's a, another good quality soil. They're going to be more peat based because they're out of Canada. So they, you know, of course they're using that, those resources that are in their backyard. Uh, so they're, they might not go that hydrofiber route uh, as readily. So I don't know what all soils have the hydrofiber. Jolly Gardener for sure does. And I, you know, overall, I'm very, very happy with it. So, but I think this is coming. I think that you're going to see it in the years to come that hydrofiber will probably be more and more uh, utilized in your soil. And it might not be right off all, all at the, you know, 50% hydrofiber. It might still be 20% peat moss, 30% hydrofiber or whatever. Whatever, whatever percentage they put in. But this change is coming. So far, I'm really happy with how the hanging baskets and all the product is looking. It's, it's really, it's a good thing, but you're gonna have to have vigilance when you're watering. That hydrofiber does absorb that water and holds it. So if you overwater, you're gonna have to be careful because yes, you can you can kill your plants by overwatering. You can kill your plants by underwatering. So if you're an underwaterer, yeah, this is gonna be a, a walk in the park for you because all of a sudden you're gonna have that help from the hydrofiber is gonna hold that moisture and give it, uh, give it to the plants. If you overwater, uh, you're gonna have troubles. So being vigilant is a good thing. That's always a good thing to uh, have that knowledge and to really check on your hanging baskets, your plants, your containers. So we have a lot of information. We have a lot of blog articles on our beatyourneighbor.com website. Go there, be sure to go there and check that out. And if you're liking our how-to videos, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to follow and subscribe to our channels. So have a great day, thank you.